Live on KPRC-TV and the KPRC2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. New at 6 o'clock, the search for a missing Air Force veteran ends with good news for a Houston family. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Andy Sirota. Keith is off tonight. KPRC 2's Bill Spencer is live on Houston's southeast side where a missing woman has been found safe nine days later. Bill. Yes, how you doing, Andy? It is a, a fantastic evening right now. Very good news from uh, Memorial Hermann Hospital Southeast that you see right behind me. This is where that missing woman, again, she's been gone for nine days, no trace of her for nine long days, but she has turned up here at this hospital. In fact, at this very moment, uh, HPD officers, police officers are interviewing her and also uh, her family, talking to them, uh, trying to get the very latest information about what happened with her. But I can tell you this, she is in good health and she is in good spirits. Uh, this is what the family has been going through for like the past five days. Take a look at this. This is how Tavera Hightower and her family have spent the last five days hitting the streets and knocking on hundreds of doors. Hey, we're just passing out flyers about my little sister being missing. It's all been part of a huge effort to find Tavera's missing sister, Aleha Kendia, a U.S. Air Force veteran battling schizophrenia who disappeared from a group home in Missouri City Sunday, October 22nd, and whose backpack was found near a landfill near the Sam Houston Parkway five days ago. It has been a nightmare for the family. But I can beg God to bring her back to me and be prepared for whatever that looks like. But the unknown is killing me. Yeah, it's killing me. I understand that. Yes, that was the family just a few hours ago when we spoke to them in Houston. Once again, they are now here at the hospital, reunited with uh, Tavera's sister. And again, uh, all reports are that she is in good health and in good spirits. We don't know exactly where she has been or what has happened. The most frightening thing for the family was when they found her backpack, they found this Air Force veterans backpack lying right near a landfill and it had her wallet, her keys, two different cell phones, credit cards, all of that. So the family was terrified that something had happened to her, that she had been perhaps murdered or killed or kidnapped. Well, she is safe tonight. She's right inside Memorial Hermann Hospital talking with the police at this very minute. Reporting live, this is Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bill, thank you. Among